In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, take the time off of a date range parameter. Sometimes you have um, data that has a timestamp and you want to make sure when you select to a, a, a date range that you get, whole, um, you get the whole day. And sometimes if it has a timestamp and you put in and you put in 12 o'clock, then you'll skip the whole half of the day that's beyond that. So if you want to make sure you get the whole day, um, you would go into here. Um, so you can see I set up a date, uh, date time parameter, um, and then I'll show you this problem here. Range, allow range values. Okay, so you can see here my select, I have last execution time equals date range and say, okay. So I'm just gonna run this and show you what I get. So I'm gonna run it for three, one, 2018. Um, and then I'll say zero, 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 which would be 12 a.m. on that day. Uh, two, uh, three, 30. 3.30, uh, and then same, it'll be 12 a.m. on that day, the very beginning of the day. Okay, so you can see that I get up through 3.29, 2018, um, 11.59 uh, a.m. And then, so what I want to do is make sure I do know that I have a 3.30 data point here and so I know that I'm missing one in that date range because I ran it for 3 1 2018 to 330 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my date range I'm just gonna switch it to date instead of date time Let's see you can see that so I switched it up here at the type to date I'm gonna make sure I still have it in range allow range values for some reason it switches that off and I'll say okay and then I'm going to put in 3 1 2018 to 3 31 2018. Sorry, 3 30 2018. Um, and so you can see, you'll see at the bottom here, watch when I click that, it's going to, should pick up that day. See, I have a data point here, 330, 2018, that it's now picking up because I just used that the date instead of the date time parameter.